Hello, hello again and uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this time I will continue with the Nikon F and uh, going deeper into the uh, mirror house housing and uh, show how it actually works and uh, what could get wrong or yeah maybe the easier with putting the mirror house and the front plate back into the body so <clears throat> I already disassembled the the camera I mean you can see the uh, disassemble um, of this camera in the first part I mean when I took out the the um, exposure assembly so uh, this time I will continue with the mirror house itself and the front and um, <clears throat> show how they connect to each other and of course to the body but uh, let's have a look inside <laughs> I just need to take off the plate here with the the rewinder <laughs> plate with the three screws here <clears throat> it's nothing special just need, need a um, two millimeter flathead screwdriver that's the actually the main tool and of course tweezers and dentist tool and all that stuff now there's a little thing about the uh, the lock for the mirror for the, um, the viewfinder or the prism you see <clears throat> so this is how I take off the flash assembly contact um, one mention what could one do when uh, pressing the button here to unlock the mirror and the uh, no not the mirror <laughs> but the um, but the prison because uh, sometimes it can get really sticky and also get the um, the focus plate focus screen uh, if it's too tight I mean one if you push a lot a lot with your nail you still cannot uh, get it on I mean get it out so what can one do yes you see this point here is actually bent it a little so one could actually take a tweezer not a tweezer a a tool <laughs> um, and then actually press down and bend a little backward so now it would be a lot easier to uh, maybe it should have more but uh, it's easier to actually take do when uh, this little plate is out so we just begin with that this will will, will be some issues with the <clears throat> thing that goes wrong sometimes but it's actually easy to fix so we're and where's my tweezer here And take out this part here it can also be adjusted in the hole in the two holes here of course here those two holes can uh, they are big enough that you actually can move it a little but uh, actually it's much easier to just bend the little the little piece of metal down there so just uh, <clears throat> push on it or draw on it and then just bend it a little just a little so it should of 
course there is no connection at the moment but <clears throat> to uh, take out the, the, the focus screen focusing screen one can just push on it here with a screwdriver and then <clears throat> actually take the the focusing screen out that's it now <clears throat> We'll just continue with the um, with the uh, front plate. Since I already have been into the camera, I think well, I will just continue with uh, having all the leather off on each side, almost, um, because I mean it not, doesn't make sense to put it back in. I mean assemble it and then disassemble it again. And next time uh, do the same thing so I will just let it be apart now there are some screws around here but I will begin with the uh, front plate itself so by taking the front screws off here I mean the top two top screws here it uh, I will just uh, let the two screws on the back here that actually hold the mirror housing in place into the body. I mean it's also connected to the front plate but still. So off with that two screws. And there. Now there is actually no connection between the um, between the mirror housing and the front plate so I can just continue with the with the let's see four five six screws five yeah five screws on the front One also have to remember the two where the uh, self timer plate here. So where did they went? So Good to have all screws put together <clears throat> now the two front lower front screws come out oh come on <laughs> stick to the magnetic screwdriver So that's it. Now then I can just take off the front plate itself. So if we do so, something like that. And you see the self timer is here. One could just activate it, but no matter. Uh, and then the uh, lever here or part here that is connected to the to the um, body itself in here this point is connected to the fork here so when pushing down the shutter button it will push down this part here something like that and uh, now we'll take out the the mirror housing I mean some should know something when putting though when putting in the I mean try to put the front plate in 
without the mirror housing uh, it can be a challenge because you have no control over which part is connected to which part in here and there are two th things that is connected I mean it's actually three um, so no one have no control over well <coughs> how the the part is connected therefore the mirror house will also go out and then I will will uh, put all I mean both front and mirror housing in at the same time when I uh, assemble it again so I will also take out the, uh, the two screws on the back here and the one here if if the the camera you have cocked the shutter one thing will happen I will show it <laughs> so when I I will just unscrew this one the shutter has to be relaxed before take that out if not hmm you probably get uh, surprised okay what's happened mm -hmm. now it's all loose now the shutter is uh, relaxed but then I cocked the shutter I will just I mean it's not actually the shutter is actually not cocked yet it is yeah I think so yeah but if I take it out no one can actually cock the shutter before I push on this lever here. So, and then I can cock the shutter. I mean, <laughs> fire the shutter. Yeah, sorry. But if this is out, this lever, and you wind the camera, uh, and you try to push the button, I mean, you push the button, but nothing happened but so so this lever here have to be pushed in all the way there and then you can fire the shutter then wind it up again and there, then you can see the, the slow gear actually is activated because the Exposure is set on one second in this case doesn't really matter but now we'll continue with the uh, the actual uh, front part so let's take it for in the beginning here is the lock for the uh, for the uh, prism and the uh, focusing screen in here so it, it works like this way it works as it was one part so it's locked I mean the uh, the viewfinder is locked here on the front because there's no no notch on the back so it's only it's only uh, locked here <clears throat> when pushing in the button and of course move this now let's see on those uh, parts here that actually is connected so if something is not working it could be that when you put in the front here this arm has not be put in correct let's say it's looks like this so when you put in the the uh, mirror house housing or try to do it 
it will be something like there. So one can actually not do it wrong. I mean, you could. <clears throat> If you do so oh you just put it in and don't think over oh how should it sit so where if it's possible <laughs> that's always the good thing if it not work what so to do so okay and you put the there you assemble everything on the front and you put the their mirror housing with the front in the camera and you okay what's going on here well you can even put it in because this sticks out too much so the one part here has to stay like this and another thing this one this pin here if it goes wrong it maybe sticks like it maybe sits in this position and you put it in and everything is correct here so this uh, this little pin here will push on this here now Let's say I just put it in and think, okay, everything is correct. Yeah, I didn't notice what was wrong. So, now, everything looks okay. You can move this. Or can you? Not really. Well, it will not go back to the position. So you can push down. But there is no... <clears throat> it will not return so and you find out when you already put the mirror house into the body hmm yes and uh, because you can put it in if this part is not put in correct so then you have have to disassemble the camera again so this one have to sit all the way up here Hmm? Because it's actually the the depth of field button that push against the the lever here. Now this pin is also push on this little pin here. So when pushing in the button on the front for the depth of field it will push down here on this one and of course this lever here will push on the the aperture system in the lens and of course um, make the picture darker when you, you look into the viewfinder now the other pin here, this one, that move when I move here, here, um, it push at the same time on this one. There's a small spring down here. That's actually the 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 part together with the part in here that actually unlock the mirror so it will flip up so <clears throat> when I push on the button I mean the shutter button when I push down here it will actually lift this up and I of course press on it and then move the the, uh, let's say here when I cock the shutter like this part here 
let's see what's happened now keep an eye on this part here because it's uh, actually a lock that when I wind the camera or cock the shutter one set this lever here this one will push on this one this pin here and actually when I press the button it will move the the uh, the mirror into what one say lock the 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 part I mean lock man what's what should one say <laughs> um actually kind of uh, set on set tension on the uh, mirror so when i cut the shutter look here this part that moves now will push on the mirror system and the other pin here will actually prevent the lo the this pin here from going back again and actually set tension on the mirror itself so when I do so I press on it and act as a uh, that I cock the shutter when I push the button that is that part here look what happened the mirror will flip up we see it in another way uh, let's see what we can do I set tension on here on this one and when I press the button the mirror will flip up now <clears throat> you can see the mirror actually stays open and stay up in the uh, close to the uh, to the focusing screen and let the light uh, into the film now there is a lock that actually is the mirror locked up or uh, that is the front ring here the front button so when I normally it just stay here on the, um, the black dot here and goes again the the black dot here but if I turn this button so it goes um, against the uh, the red dot here it actually tells the camera I mean the mechanism in here and especially this small pin here that the mirror should stay up I mean lock the mirror up so uh, and it will if you can see closer here hopefully can but <clears throat> let's say I cock the shutter and the button on the front here is set as mirror up lock so I will cock the shutter Ooh. The tension in this spring here is very high so I set the camera as a like I should take a picture and look up here something will go down and lock the mirror up there is a lock mechanism in here Hope you can see it that actually lock the the mirror up and will just stay open inside here we also have some parts that we take a look at you see when I um, press the button like doing that this this uh, part here is actually 
connected to the part here. That is the um, the mirror unlock. So when pressing the button, this one will unlock the, the mirror and it will flip up. On the other hand, this lever here will, when mirror lock up is uh, set, it will just prevent the, the mirror from going down. And it will be up here. Maybe we can go a little closer. So when I move this, it will be the same as I push down here. So when I move this, the camera, I mean the mirror, will flip up. No, flip down into normal position. Like this. It, it uh, would be the same when I press down here. And you can actually see what's going on here. So when I press here, it's a mirror lock up function. The spring here can sometimes be a little tired. And uh, also this spring here will be weak uh, over time. Or maybe it just needs some cleaning. So, uh, but <clears throat> I would like to show you how you actually take out the mirror itself. You can see this mirror, it actually look a bit uh, dusty and there are some hmm, scratches and marks and so, so on. But how do we actually take out the mirror? Well, there are two screws that we actually can see if I do so and let the mirror stays up. There are actually two screws here, one there, one there, that will that will uh, lock, I mean, it's hold the, the mirror in place. Here, it will be there and there. It's made of brass. I thought it was plastic, but there is not really much plastic in this camera. But uh, let's take a look how we can do it. I mean, all the uh, blinds here, or whatever they call, have to be taken off. Also, this arm here needs to be taken off. So I will just begin here. Out with that arm. It's only one screw, no spacers. That's it. <clears throat> on the um, on the other side, the the main spring. Uh, I have to on what do you say. Take the tension away by doing so. So I just lift up. The spring is connected to this part here. And I just take the tension away by using a tool, a plier, and just move it. So everything is actually free at the moment. So I if, if I push up here, I can just move the mirror like without any trouble. Of course, the mirror lock off. <laughs> Go on. So okay. <laughs> it will also prevent when pushing down the uh, let's say that. It will also have to take the tension away from the um, aperture connection to the lens. So unhook that and then there is no problem. <clears throat> now there are 
six screws that actually hold the 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 what do you say light traps or something uh, to there 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 and on the side here and here and of course yeah well there are actually eight screws two one on each side here so we begin with this It's not that hard, just use the correct tools so there isn't any big problem with that. To come into this screw I need to un unscrew this part here and there is a small, what do you say, spacer tube it sounds logical to me, the name. <laughs> so it's a longer screw. And then the actual tube itself. I could also take the other out and then maybe I should do that. No problem with that. Because it will fool around. and the little spacer. Now <clears throat> then I will just continue with this part here. That's the lower screws. So And then I can take this part out here. Well, I could. But <clears throat> just to see all the things, I will just um, unscrew those four screws here, and here, here. One can, without taking off the velour, just use a small screwdriver. This is a 1.2 millimeter. And just grab it under, dig it under the uh, velo, and then the two screws here. Oh, come on, where do you mind? There, <clears throat> so. <clears throat> now everything is free at the moment so I can take out this part here it looks like that actually well, then we can just see the mirror back of the mirror <clears throat> and also this uh, this part here it can be a little tricky to take off so don't bend it bend it too much it's actually very thin now here we can see the the, the uh, mirror lock part maybe better so when I move this lever here you can see the hook that will unlock the mirror like that also one thing <clears throat> when we are in here there is a damping I mean a kind of uh, suspension when the mirror flips back into position this spring here and the little lever will prevent the uh, mirror from going too hard back and smash into the I mean smash this end 
into the uh, part here. So the spring will prevent it from going too hot in. So, so what's now? Yeah. We'll take out the mirror, the whole thing here. <clears throat> there are two long spacer tubes here, one there, one there. And there is a long pin that goes from one side to the other. And there are two big screws on each side. They're not really big, but the, the head, the screw head is big. So use a, and the gap is not that big. So unscrew that. It's the same on each side. Now, <clears throat> you cannot actually see it here. I mean, you can almost see it here, but uh, I need to unscrew this part also. And there's also a small spacer, which you can see here. So don't drop it. Now, then I can see the screw clearly and uh, it will make it a lot easier to push the, the long axle pin or whatever name they have. <clears throat> so everything is almost free at the moment. The, uh, the mirror is actually almost free. <clears throat> So, I can just push on this one with a tiny, long, maybe a tweezer. I can just push on it and use a plier to draw it out. So when you draw it out, you just... Um, you, do, you do not just draw, per, I mean, press gently here and just move like this. It will make it easier, in my opinion. So, now it's here, the long pin. And then the two spacer tubes here is just to lift out. And the other side here. And then the mirror is actually free, kind of. But um, how to handle it? Well, I will just do like so, and I will unlock it. So, and then it's, I mean, the hook down here, I mean, the fork down here has to be in this position. And then it should be some kind easy to take the mirror out. And this is how it looks. So, when you put the um, the mirror back into place, take care. I mean, be aware of where this fork is. It can be moved like this. As you can see, oh, <laughs> and then the lock function, mirror lock function is uh, taking place and I can just move it back. So it's better to have the, the fork in this position when putting things back. Now <clears throat> there are two tiny screws here that hold the uh, the mirror in place, but the mirror is also glued into place. 
So if one need to take the mirror out, you will, um, well, I don't know if it's, if it's, uh, maybe nail polish remover can do it. Well, just give it a try. Uh, where do I have some? I had some somewhere. Sorry. <clears throat> so I'll just try the nail polish remover to see if I could if I could uh, loosen the the mirror itself. Just give it a try. So with a cotton bud. One can maybe see if it works or not. Maybe it's a harder glue. Hmm. Just do a little more. No, I don't think. Maybe it's glass glue or something like that. I don't think it's just uh, what you say, <coughs> contact glue or something. But it will soften it a little, it looks like. Mm. No, it's still too hard. But I mean, if the mirror is so bad, you could just, I mean, with a tool, break it off and uh, put in a new one. Those are only to to lock the the um, the mirror into place, so it will not just fall out. Because the hook up here will prevent the mirror from falling out. So it's actually locked into three places. One there, there and there. So <clears throat> I will just put the mirror back into the mirror housing. And um, it shouldn't be a problem. It could be. But by doing so here, that the long pin, this pin, I mean, this pin, go in first into the long gap here. Then it should be kind of easy to attach the mirror to the, to where it should stay. And one could actually lock the the hook down to where it should go. Let's see. So something like that. <clears throat> Take care of the the lock. I mean the light trap here. Of the back of the of the mirror has to stay like something there, not just put the mirror on it. Has to to sit proper like there. Now one can actually put the the long pin. into here haha <laughs> no not yet no 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 not yet there are two spaces here that's also would like to come in there and there do you mind okay another tweezer we have one yes
and let it go there. So now it should be, I mean, it should be possible to put the long pin in. Maybe one have to push down the the spacer tubes here. And then push it in. Don't bend it. <laughs> and uh, with the end of a tweezer, one could push in there. And it will go up to here. And through the next spacer tube. <laughs> Whatever name they have, I don't know. So one there. And here we are almost there. One could just bend it a little. And then it should be possible to just push it in. So here we are. And let it stay like this. <coughs> so each side is very good. Almost there has to stay flush with the surface here. Now, so it's okay there and it's okay there. And uh, how about the mirror? Well, <coughs> I can unlock it and then I can move, not really, because some parts are not put proper in. The mirror lock up is in action so I can uh, move it up and down here and let it go back to place where it should stay now <coughs> the small spacer I mean I will just load a screw to my screwdriver it will be more handy so, and then put this tiny tube here and move this part over. And of course, if one are lucky enough, hmm. So, tighten it gently. Okay, what could one see what I forgot? Mm. Damn, well, something happened. And now and then, I forgot the, of course, the big screw head, the end of the, of the long pin, but no problem. So, come on. <laughs> okay, yeah, not good. But uh, you see, <laughs> if you work with it, it uh, will sometimes forget something. Mm -hmm. So, and tighten. Ah, okay, we also take the other side, so everything is okay in proper order. <coughs> now, now we are back on track. Load my screwdriver with a screw. Uh, yeah, we will be there. Hmm? Then the tiny spacer here. Okay, there's some, there's some loop on it. Not, 
there and move this into position. So, and keep a finger on it. Um, okay, well, so we do it like that, center it, and it will be easier. Now, <clears throat> so we actually there, and uh, don't forget this one. No, not yet. But the uh, the big spring here. <clears throat> so, so if I what you say, cock the shutter like this, the mirror will flip up, poof, and of course the mirror lock up function is in place. So I can just unlock it by pushing here and being back again. Now I, I will put this long lever on. And then just uh, <clears throat> load a screw here. Put it in here. Hmm. It's difficult to do without a sharp pointed tweezer. So this one can only sit one way. So just push put it over here. And let the screw come in here. Move it a little. And then tighten the screw. Take care of this one is not bent it. If it is, it will not attach to the to this part here and of course the shutter button so nothing will happen. It can maybe in, if there is a failure with the um, with the uh, shutter function I mean the uh, shut up button function so when you push on it nothing will happen okay so what could be the issue oh there's too much grease on this one hmm. maybe take another one so this one goes there and this pin will go over here that so and then the screw goes in so and then we are back again <clears throat> now then the uh, the uh, light trap or whatever they call will go in here first put it on take care of the very thin because this uh, sheet metal is very thin so those has to to uh, stay on here but the front has to go on first because those has to, would you say, it will be something like that. So those, those uh, holes here 
have to sit on the outside of this one. So it will be something like that. So, and of course the other side. <clears throat> so this is sit, those two sit on the inside of those two here. <clears throat> so, put this on and when you put it on you could do so like this and take this over here and put it on. Now, <clears throat> we could just put on one screw here. So, mm. don't tighten them yet. So, so you have something to work with. So, and the back of it, which will be something here, and I could just uh, screw in those four screws here. Okay, will you please stay there? Hmm. When I was in the camera here, there was some of the screws that uh, was really annoying for me. Until I found out, okay, you have to be care, take care when put them in because of the thin metal. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, there. So, hit the the thread. I could have take off the uh, the velour, but uh, it's not really necessary un unless it's a really bad condition. So I not do it so there and or maybe renew it if it was really bad now then we okay yeah I forgot one thing <clears throat> also um, I'll just Screw this one in on one side, then I will tell you how what I did wrong because uh, it's also part of it when assemble and uh, repairing cameras. Sometimes, sometimes you do a wrong thing, um, and then you maybe found out too late <coughs> that things should have been put in. A different, uh, what do you say, sequence saw. So, see, <clears throat> I would like to put in a screw here, but uh, well, I cannot because I put the <laughs> this uh, screw and the tube here in too early. So, I have to unscrew it again. Take out the tube and the screw and the tube because then I have access to the last screw that hold the uh, the light traps or whatever they call. Luckily, it's steel screw and not brass.
So here we are. Now, some of those have to have been bended a little, but uh, they're very thin, so it's not a problem <coughs> to bend them back in position. Now the little tube here goes on, and I should have loaded my screwdriver with a screw before. <laughs> See, we just do it again on there and on with this part here. It has to be, has to sit on the, uh, see, has to push on this one here. Now, so here we are, almost there. No, it cannot because it has to sit correct. So there. So it's better to keep a finger, press it when it sits correct here. And then move the tube there. And then tighten the screw. So, and so. Now, then we are almost there, because this lever also have to go in, and a screw here. <coughs> this lever sits here, and um, it's actually important. If you miss that, you the camera will not work. You can cut the shutter, but that's it. Nothing will happen. Because when cut the shutter, like we do now, <clears throat> where did you go? Here, this part here, when you see it's like there, this part here will push against this part here oh sorry against this one so if you miss it miss the uh, part when you put the mirror house on the front plate and put everything in uh, and you figure out okay it doesn't work okay that you miss this one because you I mean you can cut the shutter Like now, I can cut the shutter, but there will nothing happen. Maybe the mirror will log up. I guess so. Actually, the mirror will just... I cut the, the mirror, uh, I mean the shutter, and then this one will have tension. So when you press on the shut up button this part will just flip up and nothing else will happen so <clears throat> it's very important you you don't forget anything and therefore 
It's also much, much easier when putting things back in that the mirror house and the front is come in at the same time as one thing. So this one stays like there. This part is pushed again here. This one from the, from the uh, self timer has to stay there. So, I mean, you could it make it easier? Just flip this up. I mean, let it stay like there, as the mirror is uh, locked up. So. And there we have to flip down the mirror, click, that's it. So everything is ready to be put in again. So the pin here, this pin here, go against this pin here. And this pin here go against this pin here and it's also the aperture connection so you just slide it in by doing you have to have it like a little out of angle so they're like there and just continue so, if you can move this, the this lever here, and this will be push up. You run, and if you push on the um, the what do you say? The uh, yeah, <laughs> the aperture, <laughs> uh, depth of field button. Sorry. If you can push on this and everything, I mean, things inside will work, like there, you are on track. So, and then I will uh, screw two screws in on the front, on the uh, top part, because uh, then I can just slide the whole section in to the body. And of course, assemble the rest of the camera. But uh, I will just let the camera stay open for. So now we're here, and uh, everything actually looks like it it works. So if I push here. And uh, push the shutter button. The mirror will flip up. But if I push down the uh, the mirror lock up function, and I do it again here, it will just do it like that. <clears throat> So everything is actually working here. So uh, I'll just put the things in again. Remember this one has to be pushed up here. If it stays down there by mistake, you uh, you will not be able to use the uh, the uh, self timer because uh, it will not work. And uh, that's actually not good. And you will maybe not be able to push the shutter button because the distance, 
I mean, they uh, it will just put on this one, and uh, it cannot move any further. So this pin here, that actually the uh, connection to the self timer here, and the hook here is the connection to the shutter button. I mean, it's all the same section here that will move so when I cock the shutter and I push down the the, uh, the shutter button you can see it will just uh, ah, could we do it again you can see I will uh, move as it was one part so I will just put it in and that's actually that. Something like there. Slide it in. And put in some screws. Those screws are longer in the in the button part here. So, and the uh, front part here, the two. And one screw here. In the next film, I will take the the prism apart and see how it looks inside, because there is a lot of stuff of dust in the <laughs> in the um, eyepiece. So. Uh, and I think it will be the the last part of this camera. Well, it's not in, in good shape, those foam. But, uh, I mean, what can one expect from a camera that is made in something like 1960s, beginning of 1960s? There's one thing about this, um, I forgot. This is uh, when looking into the the repair manual for this camera. It's uh, there are two versions of the the uh, so here there are two versions of the of the mirror housing um, mechanical part. In this camera, it was the new. I mean. Yeah, new <clears throat> in 1962. So it um, is more simple in the older one, but one can actually get the the repair manual at the ArcticWolf.net, where I found this repair manual. So you can do it too.
Hmm. There we are. And hopefully. Ah, oh, come on. No, doesn't happen. Okay, I was lucky. The the small screw come out. It could be an easier to take out the the. Uh, I will use another tweezer. I think it'll be better. Here we are, and then flip it out there, so it goes into the fork, there. Mm hmm, I should not have tightened the screw so much. There has to be some movement so I can uh, still use, still screw the other screw in, like there. See, there should be enough space to actually move the This part here they have used some glue or whatever they use but uh, of course they do so for a camera that will stay <laughs> in the business for I don't know how many years it's very, very well built and actually quite simple. And maybe it's therefore it works so good for so many years. So there, and there, and there. And then I can just put in the the focusing screen and you see it just pop into place because there is a lot of good movement here. So um, I can unlock it. So if, if this uh, is too tight just uh, take off the uh, the left side of the camera seeing from behind and loosen this part and uh, bend this piece of uh, this anklet piece of metal with a uh, plier and then you you have a better lock on uh, on the focusing screen and of course the prism so um, that was actually all for now so um, yeah see you next time bye bye